Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a haul. I didn't feel like buying any makeup today, so I just did it. And all I have on is lipstick and like tiny brows. It's a little while later and my lighting is not as good as it was. But it's still not bad. And I have my TV on because I hate silence, so... I just wanted on my TV on. I don't know if you can tell because I didn't cut much off, but I got a trim on my hair, and I really like this hair color. And my hair is so much less dead than it was, but I'm gonna get back into the items. The lip color I have on is the Beauty For Real Lip Cream in Always There. This is a liquid lipstick, but not in the way you would think of as a liquid lipstick. It's like a... Um, a satin finished liquid lipstick but where was I um okay so the first place I shopped at was Amazon and I don't think I ever actually showed you guys anything but the first thing that I got is the La Roche Posay Tolerane Tolerian or Tolerane double repair moisturizer Dermatologist tested, safe for sensitive skin, up to 48 hour hydration. Oil free, non comedogenic, fragrance free. It has ceramides and niacinamide, which is a skin brightener, which like kind of, not like a skin bleach or skin lightener, but it's like lightening dark spots on your face. And like even out your skin tone. And um, it has prebiotic thermal water. I got this off Amazon because it honestly was a better deal on Amazon. I paid $19.99 for this. It's like $25 at Ulta, I think, or something around that. But Amazon always has good deals on, like, things. You seem to be able to get them cheaper, but this, and it's, a uh, and it's two and a half ounces, which is bigger than the one I have right now, which I think this is, like, no, actually, I think this one might be a little bit bigger. I can't read it. It's on, it's in Korean, but right now I'm using the Royal Honey Good Moisture Moisturizing Cream by Skin Food. But, yeah, I thought I'd try. I do really like that, though. It's very emollient, and, like, it's a nice, like, moisturizer. But I like this, too. I've tried it once, but I haven't tried it a lot. But I really, in the wintertime, my skin gets so much more sensitive and I really need something that's gonna help with that. And I think the first thing that I talked about is the Ceramidin, Ceramidin or Ceramidin Body Oil by Dr. Jart. There's um, some Korean stuff in this haul. And um, I put this on in the shower after I'm done cleansing and everything. And it just makes my skin feel amazing. And sometimes I'll put like a cream over top of it which will like seal it in. But sometimes I'll just use this if I'm in a rush and I'll be out the door very fast. And then the next thing that I got off Amazon is the Derma E Hydrating Eye Cream. And I'm running out of like everything. This is one of those times where I'm running out of like every single thing. The lighting's making my, my eyes look more dark than they are. Dark circle aesthetics, still looking cute. But... <laughs> But I really like this eye cream. I've only used it like once or twice, but it's more lightweight than the other one I was using, but it feels like it moisturizes just the same. So I really like that. And um, the last thing that I got off Amazon is the Etude House Tint My Brows Gel, which I don't know. I think I might have showed this in another haul, but I haven't used this yet because you have to leave it on for like... You have to leave it on for a while. Like, you could either leave it on overnight or, like, leave it on for a while before, like, to see if it acts for it to adhere and everything, which I really don't want to sleep in that. So, I'm going to have to figure out a day when I don't have anything I have to get ready for that I can do that on. But that's all I got off Amazon. And now on to what I got at CVS. From CVS, I got a couple things. CVS has a new Korean beauty section, which I was so geeked about. They have this brand called Peach Slices, which I've never tried. And right here, I have the Hydrate Time and Morning Calm Flower Sheet Mask. I also had a um, 
a pore shrink. I think it was, it said pore shrink. It had willow bark and stuff in it, but I used that and I, I think I have it in my empties, but I don't, I didn't feel like getting it, but I have two masks from Pink Peach Slices and also from Peach Slices. I have, you know those acne dots that you can just put on breakouts and it'll clear them up. This works so well. If you have a breakout that's like coming up and it's like about to be done and it's about to like, it's healing and it's like about to like, I don't know how to explain it. The, it's towards the end of its life. Like, or even when it first pops up, you put this on and it'll be gone. Like, I put it on a big pimple and the next day, like, it took out a lot of the, it took out a lot of the stuff that was in the pimple. It might be, sound gross, but it actually works. And then I just got a couple things from e.l.f. I got the e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing cloths, the, um, just the regular ones. These were $2. Well, no, these were $3. And I do like those. Those work really well. I have another makeup remover wipe thing in this video, but... I do like those. I got a makeup brush from e.l.f. and this is the small angled brush and I really like this for brows. I really needed a small angled brush for like lash line smudging and brows and stuff. And I got this one and I really like it. And I just got a pack of hair ties from Soonchi, the brown ones. I got a couple drugstore makeup things, which the first thing that I got is this Maybelline Superstay um, Matte Ink Lip Color. I used this in my last video, and I really love this color. This is a really awesome fall color. This just screams fall to me. It's a really dark blackened, like purpley, bur burgundy color. I have the Wet n Wild Concealer Photo Focus in light medium beige, and this runs a little bit dark. So light medium, it's like, it's closer to my skin tone than my Shape Tape, which is light medium honey. Like, you can see the color difference in these. Like, this one's much more warm, and it's much, it's a little bit darker. Whereas the Shape Tape is really light, and it's much um and also the shape tape has thicker coverage it's thicker and it has more coverage but for days when i don't want that much coverage that is really awesome and then from covergirl i got the club crusher water resistant by lash blast i've had this before i love this as a lower lash line mascara it's the only lower lash line mascara that does not smudge and print on me and it's one of my absolute favorites And at the, at the hair salon, I got my hair um, trimmed recently, as I told you. And at the hair salon I bought from Design Essentials, I bought this Natural Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. I love this leave-in conditioner. I love this range from what I've tried. I've tried the shampoo and I've tried this. And I love the shampoo. It seemed like every time I washed my hair with it, it detangling was the easiest process ever. And with this, it's the same way. And then from TJ Maxx, the first thing I got, which is the makeup wipes I was talking about, is Body Prescriptions Makeup Removing Wipes Individually Packaged. This will be great for, like, on the go. Like, I could put one of these in my bag, and if I want to remove my lipstick, or I want to remove my mascara, or I want to remove, like, makeup or something, then this will be really awesome. It says it can remove, um all cosmetics but and it removes dirt and oil so this would be good if you just want to wipe down your face a little bit in the midday and like just if you're oily or something and you don't have makeup on but this would be awesome because these are all as it says individually packaged and it comes with 30 individual wipes i'm actually gonna start i'm gonna take some of these to work with me in case I want to remove the lipstick or because sometimes my lipstick like it will get gross in the day and I just want it off so yeah or to take it off and reapply but these will definitely come in handy and if I travel I could just take individual how many I would need and I have the almond milk and honey for sensitive dry skin gent gently exfoliating cream scrub and this was $6.99 which 
you know that the body shop is kind of expensive. This is normally like twenty dollars, twenty something dollars, I think. But this smells amazing. I haven't used it yet, so I can't speak to that. But this, it just smells like honey and almond milk and like oatmeal. It just smells amazing. And speaking of amazing smells, I have from Sensational Natural Soy Candle. And these are made in the USA. I paid $6.99 for this. It's such a strong candle too. It's Falling Leaves by Sensational. This is such a strong, nice scent. And honestly, I'm surprised. These are $10. These candles are full price $10. I got it for $7. But for $10, these are stronger than the Bath & Body Works. And they're also soy candles, so they're better for your lungs and the environment and stuff. So I would recommend checking out Sensational. So I got one thing. I got the Lorac Unzipped Ocean Palette. And I was so excited about this eye palette. It comes with a um, miniature eye primer. And honestly, the packaging is beautiful. I wore this on my birthday. And I will do a birthday makeup look soon. I haven't had a lot of time because I've been working and stuff. And I didn't wear makeup today. I didn't want to wear makeup today. I just wanted to rack, relax because I was so tired. See, here's the mini behind the scenes eye primer and the ocean palette. Just look at this color. And it's, it's somewhat hollow, but not like... It's gorgeous. It doesn't have a mirror. That's my only complaint. But I don't ever use the mirror unless I'm traveling. I don't ever use the mirrors in my makeup. But just look at those colors. I'm going to do a slow go by with this oh my gosh beautiful i'm gonna swatch them in order from how they are on the palette this is mother of pearl and salt water is next to it they don't look much different in the like like this but they are definitely different in person when i tilt <laughs> when i tilt up you could actually see the real color ocean floor which is a nice rosy bronze color rose gold type color horizon which is a gorgeous matte peach color sea urchin that beautiful purple right there bedrock this brown right here sundown which is a mauvey color there's sundown right there sandbar which is as it's described like a sandy copper well it's like a yeah, like a golden sand color. It's more golden when you swatch it than it is in the pan. And then we have high tide. I don't know why. When I hear high tide, I think of that guy on SpongeBob where he's like, he's like, he made me experience high tide, huh? Uh, he washed my flipper. He owes me money. He made me provide excellent service. Kids, he made me experience high tide. And we have one more color, and this is the color Stingray. Oh my god, just look at that. There's more mattes in this than there is shimmers, which I actually like. But here's the colors. They are awesome. I'm going to have to do a makeup look. I'll be using this in my birthday makeup look, which I won't probably put up right away because I won't have time to film it. If you thought that wasn't enough stuff, I have an Ulta bag here. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to start with is I got the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. This is the Long Lasting Setting Spray, and this does help mattify throughout the day. I feel like this does help, and I've had this before. I've talked about this before on my channel, and I like it. I do like the Dewy one more, but I still like that one. I actually like that one. I think I like that one more now. I used to like the Dewy one better, 
but the dewy one also helps with mattifying for some reason and I have the Eco Tools brush shampoo for deep weekly cleanse it says free of parabens and phthalates dermatologist tested hypoallergenic and here's that the bottle is really cute and it smells good it has a good smell so hopefully that works well then I have the Real Techniques Instapop face brush which this would work really good I feel like for contour for blush for highlight if you use like this tip right here but for foundation is what I got this for I feel like I'll really like this for foundation and yeah and then to go with a face foundation brush I got the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation in the color Stick Steen Stand Sandstone and I used this in my last video I do really like this but I do have to put on some kind of hydrating base underneath of it like if I wear a mattifying primer and wear this my skin is going to look dry so if you have dry skin use a sponge with this or just avoid it and even with the sponge it's still very matte and like I don't have dry skin but my skin can look a little bit dry wearing this foundation so I would steer I would be careful of that if you have dry skin but I do really like it and then I got from NYX the faux black eyeliner in the color burnt sienna and this is the color I showed this in my last video and it's a really pretty color it's like a burnt sienna color as described since it's my since it was my birthday this week I got the it cosmetics superhero elastic stress ma stretch mascara Ulta got kind of stingy with their birthday gifts to be honest because they used to give full size birthday gift but I'm fine with this mini trial size and this looks like it'll be a good mascara. I like the way the wand looks. It smells tip like typically like mascara smells. But I've heard good things about this and I'll be happy to try it. And then the last thing that I got from Ulta is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Off Mask. I tried this in my vlog, in one of my Vlogtober days. And I did really like it, so I decided to get the full size because I got a mini size in an influencer box. But that's all that I got recently. Some of it's like just stuff I got myself for my birthday, just like randoms and just stuff that I wanted to buy. But hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more videos from me, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.